In this next video, we're going to be placing the doors in the right location. One of the things that I mentioned last time is making sure to be able to copy or duplicate models that we've brought into our SketchUp file. Um, we have to have it selected. And then if we're in our Move tool, and you notice down here in the bottom bar, it says pick two points to move. It kind of tells you how to use the Move tool. Uh, what we're worried about right now is the Control key allows you to copy. So if we hit the Control key, reminder that it comes in uh, a little plus next to your cursor. Then if I click on my model and move, I will create a duplicate. That's how easy that is. Now, the next thing we're doing is we are coming in and we've got to make sure we know how to, I guess, rotate or orbit around um, and also be able to move our actual uh, door swing to the correct location because this right here is a right swing door, which this one is right now, but it's facing the wrong way. Uh, so I'm going to come in, and I already have this one selected, so I'm going to right click my model, and then I want to flip along, we're going to go components red, and then flip along components green. And now my door swing is going the correct way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to orbit around my door, and I'm going to click on the midpoint of my component by sliding down this blue line right here. It snaps the midpoint of the component, click. It's very important that I select the point that I want to match with my crosshairs or my guidelines that I made last time. So I'm going to zoom out by scrolling out, scroll back in, orbit around. Remember orbit is clicking and depressing the mouse wheel on your um, mouse itself. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to put this where it belongs, in the intersection of my door and my guideline. Now, if I go back to the outside of my model, everything looks right. Um, we do not need to make a opening for it. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to. Now, uh, the next thing is we want to go and do that same piece with all of the rest of our doors. A reminder that if we select it, in order to move or have it facing the right way, you may have to right click, you may have to flip around your red, all right, that, that took it and made it a left-handed door swing, um, or possibly flip along your green, and it will flip those to the correct spots. And then remember, when you grab it with the move tool, we want to be very careful and we want to grab it with the midpoint being selected of the component. And then we can come in, orbit around, and line up that door where it belongs on the edge intersection of our guideline. You'll do that with the rest of the doors going down the hallway. And the next step will be downloading windows from 3D Warehouse. Thank you.